On May the 3rd, 2022, Keir Starmer spoke about the horrors of the cost of living crisis and the need to give money towards heating to everybody in Britain. He also uh, spoke about Elsie, a pensioner who apparently had to maintain her heating by travelling on buses as she couldn't afford to heat at home. Slightly less than two and a half years later, one wonders where Elsie is. Is Elsie still alive? Is she still with us? I have a feeling, considering the next few months, she may not be if she is still alive. As she was 77 then, that makes her 79 and a bit now. But lest I be accused of making up Keir Starmer saying this, I'm going to play Keir Starmer saying it. If you listen for about a minute and a half here, you can hear Keir go on about Elsie about halfway through this interview. So let's have a listen to Keir, shall we? I'm going to enlarge this so that we can see it full screen. And I'm going to start here from the beginning. Let's get some volume back because it was turned off. And let's hear Keir. The cost of living is the number one issue on all of the doorsteps across the whole of the country. People are really worried about how they can pay their bills, really worried because the government's just whacked everybody's working with more tax. What we, the Labour Party, have said is, look, um, the oil and gas companies in the North Sea have made more profit than they were expecting, so let's have a windfall tax on that and use it to help people with their energy bills up to £600 for those most in need. So that's did you hear that? Six, up to £600 in need. Funny, two and a half years later, that seems to have been memory hold. The first thing we would do, the second thing we would do is we wouldn't have introduced this uh, tax. You know, the idea of introducing a tax in the middle of a cost of living crisis tells you everything you need to know about how wrong it is. So we've got practical answers. The government's got... You have practical answers, do you, Keir? Did they vanish then in the last two, roughly two and a half years? Absolutely none. And Thursday in these elections is really a, a chance to send a message to the government about how they failed so profound. The message is, Keir, that people are fucking angry. And I don't apologise for swearing in this instance. People are boilingly angry because the old people, in this case, affected by this whole issue two and a half years later, are people's real fathers, husbands, wives, etc., when it comes to the cost of living crisis. Of cost of living, let's talk about Elsie the pensioner. She mentioned today on television that she has to keep warm by riding on a bus all day. And the Prime Minister, well, he said that she should be grateful for having a free bus pass. Your, your thoughts on that? Grateful for having a free bus pass. Let's listen to what Keir says in the next few seconds. Well, Elsie was um, describing the human impact of the cost of living crisis on her and how she has to ride on the buses just to keep warm. And for the Prime Minister to essentially say, you should be grateful um, to have a pass. I mean, how out of touch can you be? How out of ideas can you be? How I don't know, Keir. How out of touch can you be? This is the man a few weeks ago who said he didn't rule out striking the, the pensioners free bus pass out of existence. Funny that. I think this should be played on a large screen in front of Keir in the middle of the House of Parliament. Or, or someone should put it outside on a projection of screen or a very large number of laptops at once outside 10 Downing Street and play it continually on a 24-hour loop to remind him of what he said to uh, nearly two and a half years ago and play it through the biggest fucking pair of PA speakers you can find and just blast it out. How out of excuses can you be? And I think if ever there was a reason to send the Prime Minister a, uh, a message in these... Yes, there's a good reason to send this Prime Minister a message, as you can see. In any case, I think that's established the point that Keir said it, and Keir should be held to account for saying it. He used Elsie to castigate Boris Johnson. Two and a half years later, Elsie probably can't afford to heat a house. And, it's, and may not, as I say, be even with us. Certainly after this winter, a number of pensioners won't. The estimate is around 4,000. I suspect it will be far more and that the NHS will be clogged up. Keir, you are a barbaric, ruthless man with no integrity and no morals. 